I've just completed my latest sculpture. I'd love to share how it was built and created with you because it's been quite a journey that actually started years ago. I'm, I'm in a body cast. It is a challenge, but I think that it'll be worth the completed projects that come from this because once this part is done, the fun can begin. The fun being making a completely body accurate dress form with which I would make a costume out of a very expensive faux fur that I did not want to waste one inch of. It's the same kind of faux fur that is used to make Chewbacca's costume. I didn't stop there with the paper clay. I also made a mold and cast of my face. Paper clay is surprisingly durable, and these castings have remained unchanged in the years since they've been made. But in the here and now, it's time to dream of a new purpose for these art pieces. I really wanted this to be a comprehensive, multifaceted, multimedia self-portrait. I knew the first thing that I would need for this sculpture would be a pedestal or a plinth to actually display it on. I thought about all of the other components that I wanted to include in this self-portrait. Things that represented my intellect, my heart, all of the art mediums that I love using. There are so many complexities that I wanted to include to represent a multifaceted human being. Not only does this pedestal need to hold the sculpture, it also needs to house the electronics and the radio broadcaster. And it needs to be mobile. This is an alginate-based molding material, which I mix with water in order to create a mold of my hand. It is my right hand, after all, that does the heavy lifting for all of my creative endeavors, and I will cast it in plaster. The alginate with the plaster captures a lot of detail. And as soon as everything is set, I'll unbox it to reveal what I've made. With the components that represent my physical self completed, including my face, my body, and my right hand, I begin work on something that represents my thinking self. A hand-carved brain out of clay. Once it's carved and shaped and burnished and the excess weight has been removed, it will be bisque fired. And then I add 
a iron oxide to give it some color and bring out the patterns. It will have to be fired again in order to be finished. And in the meantime, I need to figure out how to bring all of these pieces together in one cohesive sculpture. It's all finally starting to come together, so I've got to get the final touches on the pedestal. A final polish of linseed oil really brings out the wood grain and the plywood. So the end result being this multimedia self-portrait sculpture that hopefully helps to reflect all of the aspects of what makes up a human being, this human being in, in this case. Um, but it's got the, the paintbrush, which represents my painting, obviously. I wanted to represent all of the mediums that I use. The audio component really emphasizes my need to communicate, which is why I create art in the first place. I want to reach people. I want to be heard. I want to be seen, just as any human being does. Thank you so much for watching. 